aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about the new Too Faced collaboration with Nikki Tutorials, the Power of Makeup kit. You guys know how much of a fan I am of Too Faced and I usually love their kits. So I was really excited to see one with a collaboration from a fellow YouTuber. When I first heard about it, I was excited that Too Faced was collaborating with a YouTuber. There have been so many YouTuber collaborations lately some of them I've loved, some of them I've not so much loved, some of them I've given you guys my thoughts on, and some of you guys have really backlashed me for giving my thoughts on a collaboration. That's why I've been so hesitant to do them lately. I've really gotten a lot of criticism because of my Violet Voss Laura Lee video. Those were just my honest thoughts. These are just going to be my honest thoughts. I don't like to sugarcoat anything. It is a high-end product, so it's probably something you guys want to know all of the pros and cons about. Get multiple people's opinions. Don't just take my opinion as the only one that you base your decision on. On, watch other review videos. YouTube is so great because there are so many different people giving their different opinions, their different interpretations of a product. So here goes my review just based on my experience with the product. It doesn't mean everyone's experience is going to be the same, but it's just my experience. Let's go ahead and jump right into the review. This is the outer box packaging of the kit. I really like it. The box is really nice. It kind of has a rubbery feel, really cute with the pink leopard print. Now inside the box you are getting two items. Like I said this is a kit so first off you do get a kind of like a little plastic baggy type thing. It's got like a little Ziploc top on it and inside the bag first off you get this little glamour guide is what they call it and I do love how Too Faced does give us little inspiration for looks. In this case of course this is Nikki. These are all Nikki's looks that she created with the palette and can I just say Nikki is gorgeous gorgeous. She is such a pretty person. Next up in the bag, you do get a little tube of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is not my favorite eyeshadow primer in the world. I much prefer the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, but I do like that it's included. You also get a mini tube of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but the cool thing is this is not in your typical black. This is actually in a really pretty royal purple. I really like it. If you guys are a colored mascara wearer, I think you'll enjoy this. I do think it helps to wear a white eyelash base or almost like a white eyelash primer underneath a colored mascara because that's how you're going to get the most color pop. You also get this little jar of what Too Faced calls their glamour dust and this is in the shade Glitter Alley and it's basically like a loose glitter. It's kind of in this really pretty silvery type color. You definitely want to use this with some sort of glitter glue, which honestly I do kind of wish Too Faced had put their glitter glue instead of the shadow insurance in this kit, just because this is so much more convenient to use with some type of sticky primer. And then the very last thing you get in this bag is this eyeliner. This is one of Too Faced new liquid liners. They call it their sketch marker. And I am so glad that they decided to include this in this kit because this eyeliner is amazing. It is a pen style liner. It does have a felt tip. It is super, super black. It's practically waterproof. It doesn't dry down matte. It does have kind of like a shiny dry down to it. This applicator is sort of like the Stila Stay All Day liquid liner applicator that I love so much. It is a felt tip. It comes to a super, super precise point, but this one is a little stiffer and I actually find find it really easy to get a really crisp wing. Now let's go ahead and dive into discussing the eyeshadow palette, which I'm sure most of you guys were the most excited about. The eyeshadow palette, once again, gorgeous packaging, that pink leopard print with the gold foil. I love everything about the outside of this palette. And then it opens up like a book 
and this is what the inside looks like. So as you guys can see, this isn't just an eyeshadow palette. There are nine shadows up at the top. You get two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. So let's jump right into this review by discussing the eyeshadow portion of this palette first. Like I said, you do get nine different shadows. Each of the pans has 1.3 grams of product, which is almost as big as a full-size MAC shadow. You do have four matte shadows included in the eyeshadow portion. You have this white, this medium brown, this chocolate brown, and the black. Three of these eyeshadows have really, really large chunks of glitter. They're kind of like that formula that I don't really like too much. Um, and that would be this light pink, the silver, and the gold. The teal and the purple also have some shimmer, but it's more of like a smoother metallic finish. So before I discuss the texture of the shadows, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys swatches of all nine of the shadows in this palette. From left to right, we have Ivy, Sugar Coated, Frosted Yum, Irresistible, Painkiller, Makeup and Chill, Mystic Hour, Wham Bam, and wanted. You guys can see that the swatches all look fairly good and fairly pigmented. All of those glittery shadows that I talked about needed to be built up with three to four layers to get full pigmentation. I will say the matte shadows are super, super smooth, very, very easy to blend. They go on the eyes really nicely. It's almost like Too Faced threw a stick of butter in the formula because if you stuck your finger in them, they just feel so silky. I love the mattes. Now let's talk about the chunky glittery ones, which like I already told you guys, I'm not a big fan of those. They don't apply very well with a brush. You really have to build them up and they cause a lot of fallout. That particular chunky glitter formula also does need to be applied over something a little bit stickier or tackier, which like I said, I really wish they would have included that glitter glue because I think it would have helped the um, more chunky glittery shadows in the palette stick better. Now to discuss the formula of the two more metallic shadows in the palette. I really, really like it. It is shimmery, but it's not chunky or glittery. It doesn't cause extra fallout. It packs and blends really well on the eye. So I have nothing bad to say about the metallics or the mattes. I just don't like those three chunky glitter shadows and unfortunately that is one third of the eyeshadow portion of the palette. I know it's been brought to a lot of people's attention that the color selection in this palette, once again, just discussing about the eyeshadow portion, isn't the most unique. Almost every Too Faced holiday palette has included, you know, a matte cream color, a light pink, a silver, a gold, a good transition, a cocoa brown, a black, and some sort of teal and purple. Let's be honest, this is not a unique combination of colors that doesn't make it a bad combination of colors. I can look at this and think of a lot of different looks to create, but you kind of have to take into account what you already have in your collection. And is this really worth it? Do you have colors like this already? Do you have another Too Faced holiday palette? Because if that's the case, you probably don't need this. Now let's go ahead and move down to the face portion of the palette. So starting up, you do have two different blush colors right here. Both of these are the formula of the Too Faced Love Flush blushes, which you guys know I love. The two colors they included in this palette have been previously released. They are permanent parts of the Too Faced collection. You also get a bronzer and a highlighter in this palette. Of course, you're getting Chocolate Soleil bronze let's be honest we all probably own this at some point um, and then you get the highlighter in champagne truffle and this is supposed to be an eyeshadow that was in the original chocolate bar palette that Nikki actually decided to turn into a face highlight so she included it in a larger pan one thing I want to say about this highlight in particular is the first time I swatched it with my finger, I thought it was really smooth. I didn't necessarily think it was the most awe-inspiring color. I mean, you know, it was okay. It wasn't really bright or super pigmented. It was just average in my opinion. But since that point, this pan has actually developed a hard pan on the surface, which means when you kind of swipe your finger over it, it's really stiff and it barely picks up any color at all. And even when I dig into it with a brush, it's just not very prominent. 
Here are swatches of the four face products in the collection. The first two are the Love Flush blushes in I Will Always Love You and Justify My Love. You have a really nice slightly shimmery peach and then a bright hot pink. And then you have the Chocolate Soleil bronzer which is barely visible on my skin tone because it's almost the exact color of my complexion. And then you have the Champagne Truffle highlight which like I said that needs to be built up quite a bit to even get that amount of color payoff. Unfortunately for my skin tone, I can't really say that all four of these face products are very usable. I do like the blushes, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I own both of them in full size. So I do like the blushes a lot. The Chocolate Soleil Bronzer has and always will be a face powder to me because it's pretty much my exact skin color and the champagne truffle highlight I mean there are so many highlighters on the market right now the highlighter market is so impacted and unfortunately this one just doesn't hold a candle to like my Becca shimmering skin perfectors for example so as for my overall thoughts on this entire kit I will say that this eyeliner, the sketch marker in the full size that they included is the highlight of the kit, which is kind of unfortunate for me because I was really hoping to love this palette. I don't think it's an awful palette, but because I don't like three of the nine shadows, I'm already kind of eh. And then I can't use the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and this highlight was a major letdown. So for me, I don't really like this. I do think this kit would be the most appropriate for someone who maybe doesn't have any other Too Faced holiday palettes in their collection and they're looking for a good assortment of shadows, blushes, bronzer, and highlight. I do like how it's all in one palette. That is really convenient. I think if you're a really big fan of Nikki and you want to support her, by all means, go for it. I'm definitely not going to talk you out of that because I do think she is a very, very talented makeup artist and she's a YouTuber and I love Love that but as for the product itself if it didn't have Nikki's name on it at all I don't think I ever would have purchased it that's just the complete and honest truth and that's all you're going to see on my channel so I really hope you guys liked this video and this review and it was helpful for those of you guys who are on the fence on whether or not to purchase it please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys loved it don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos up every single Monday and Thursday, and I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. I will see you then. Bye. If you guys haven't heard of the brand Makeup Monsters, it is an online indie brand, only available, gorgeous. It's got the glossy black serpentina with that gold foiling, and then the back,